Hello everyone, Dr. Ames here. This time I'd like to talk about partnerships. Um, let's just start with the major types. Um, as you can see here, we have general partnerships and limited partnerships. Um, each type of partnership has a, its own disadvantages and advantages, um, but in a general partnership, all the resources are pulled together, uh, and at the same time, all the liability is spread amongst the, the various partners. However, this type of partnership has a downside of uh, the possibility for a lot of disagreement amongst those general partners, uh, generally based on personality conflicts or, or different agendas. Uh, the limited partnership is made up of a mixture of these general partners and also limited partners. The limited partners differ in that they don't actively take place, uh, take part in any of the business dealings. Uh, they may contribute money, they may have some arrangement where they get a certain uh, amount of uh, money back based on their investment, so they look at it as an ongoing thing, uh, but they don't get into day-to-day -day affairs. Here's the type of partners. You can see on the left the general partners I've been talking about. Uh, the biggest downside definitely is that you have unlimited liability. That means if something goes wrong, if you get sued, uh, that your personal property and everything you own, all your assets are at risk if you should lose uh, in a court case. Uh, the limited partner, like it says here, does invest some money, but doesn't really have any management responsibility and uh, they don't have any liability also. So the limited partners get out on that part of it. Um, we have these other forms here. Um, the master limited partnership. This is a, a very special type. We don't see a lot of them. Uh, and they're for specialized industries or, or sort of events. Um, they look a lot like a corporation. Uh, they get stock traded and all of that, but they get taxed differently than corporations do. It might be due to some special status. They might be, uh, I believe there are some master limited partnerships in the energy sector with uh, companies that own pipelines where inventory flows through pipelines. So there are some complex arrangements and so forth. Um, I think the big advantage for these is uh, these are very large corporations and they're trying to avoid paying the full amount of corporate income taxes that are out there. What you do see here is uh, also the limited liability partnerships, uh, the LLPs. Um, these are really limited in the sense that if something goes wrong, then your liability is also limited only to the assets of the partnership, the, the company itself. And so the individual members don't have that unlimited liability. And so their personal assets and their personal property uh, is not at risk and so forth, depending on what might happen. Here's our advantages of partnerships. Certainly when you bring people together, they're gonna have more financial resources than you can come up with on your own. On the other hand, it's, it's a complementary sort of arrangement where you share management, you share your knowledge, uh, hopefully that each person who is a partner brings something a little bit different or unique to the table with their knowledge uh, and their expertise. Uh, and partnerships do last longer than sole proprietorships. Uh, there's a lot of research on that, so there is a, a longer survival rate, uh, but they're certainly not the same as being entirely a sole proprietor and being your own boss and, and owning and being in charge of everything. But then again, there is no special tax for a partnership like there is on a corporation, say, which is really one of the big downsides of corporations. Uh, and then we look at the, uh, the disadvantages of partnerships, uh, the unlimited liability, depending on the type of partnership. So if you're an LLP, the limited liability, you're in a little bit better position, but if you have just general partners and so forth, uh, then you are exposed to any kind of damages that might come along, depending on what happens in your business. Um, and the downside is you don't get to keep all the profits. You have to divide them up and there'll be some sort of contractual arrangement. Certainly, uh, general partners are gonna get more than limited partners and all of that. Uh, the downside is, again, uh, certainly you can have disagreements when you have partners. Uh, it could be anything from your personality conflicts to just differing agendas for where you think the future of the company ought to go and all of that. And then, Unlike a sole proprietorship that you can just stop whenever you want to stop being in business, more or less, um, a partnership has got a little bit more complexity involved. So it's not as easy to terminate the thing and get out of it. Uh, and it may even be written into the contract that that is 
one of the major problems that you have to deal with. Okay, folks, that's all I want to talk about this time. I'll talk to you again soon.